Hi YouTube, so this is my April favorites and it's a little bit late, I know, but um, I figured I'd go ahead and do it anyways and I'm outside today since it's such a nice day and I have Kyle here with me, the one who bought me all those goodies from Taiwan. Hello. You're like, I'm the frame. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get right into it. So my first favorite of the month is actually this My Beauty Diary Mask and it's the Red Vine the red oh wow it says red vine mask but it's supposed to be red wine so there's this it's um anti-aging it's anti-aging I can't read Chinese so Kyle has to tell me but um it's anti-aging and I just feel that this really um brightens up your skin and makes it feel really soft after you put on this mask so yeah, this is my last one since I used all the other ones. The next favorite is another purchase from Kyle. It's my Jill Stewart palette, and this is in number one Crystal Ruby. And so first of all, I love it because of the packaging. And I don't know if the sun's going to wash it out, but these are the colors. And I've just been using this pretty much every day. So there's this. And then... um. I have, I put it in a bag since I'm outside, um, I have these Physician Formula blushers and I have it in Rose and in Natural and I actually got these at CVS, I don't know, I tweeted about it I think last month or so and they were I think half off because I don't know if they're trying to get rid of them or whatever but this is Rose and this is what I have on my cheeks today and then this is natural and these just give you the prettiest glow I think and these are actually my first physician formula um, makeup pieces but the packaging's really cute and like I don't know it reminds me of like Valentine's Day but there's those and then another favorite is my Aquafina flavor splash raspberry lip balm. I didn't like the original because the mint actually, because it's too minty, it broke out my lips. And so this one's not as minty and it just gives enough moisture to the lips. Um, still prefer my Nivea ones, but these are pretty good. And I know a lot of people like these, so is that. And then another favorite is actually my Clean and Clear Morning Burst Oil Absor Absorbing Sheets. It's in the green packet. Um, I don't know, I got these a long time ago. I don't know if they still have these because I only see the blue ones. But, um, I don't know. I like their oil blotting sheets because you can, they're not the like, the really thin paper ones. Like, you can actually see the oil come off your face with these. Um, another one is actually the eyelashes that I'm wearing today, and they're from Forever 21. It's in this packaging, and this was in. They don't have numbers. Well, I don't know. This one's an A54. And these are only 280. This is already my second time wearing these lashes and they actually hold up pretty well. I like how they're really, really spiky and I think they give an extra oomph to the eyes. Kyle, on the other hand, says like, oh, you just have longer eyelashes, but you know. Um and another favorite is actually my friend went to China last month and she brought back um, like she bought back two boxes but I actually like these a lot because they're crisscross lashes and I've already worn a pair of these I don't know what they're called I just know that they're number 794 and she said that they didn't have names but this is what the packaging looks like and you can even just cut them in half if you want to and just add it to like the outer part of your eye but these are really cute and they're really comfortable too and then another favorite is actually a MAC shadow um, this isn't showstopper it's just this really dark brown I use this actually for my eyebrows to fill in my eyebrows and lately I've been really lazy to just pencil it in. I think it takes too long. So with this one I'll use like an angled um, like an angled brush and then just I guess fill in my eyebrows really quick and it doesn't take long at all. 
And my last favor is actually this Garnier um, Ultra Lift Daily Targeted Wrinkle Treatment. I don't really have wrinkle wrinkles, but I have really deep laugh lines. And so this, I put it on every morning and if I remember at night as well. And this actually has reduced the deepness of my laugh lines, I think, because I have really apparent laugh lines because I'm always laughing at people. But, um, yeah, so this actually I really, really like. I'll definitely repurchase this. I got this at Walmart, I think, for 10 or $11. Um, at the drugstore, I think it's a little bit more. But um, I think this actually really, really works and doesn't break me out either because it's made with, um, what is it? I think on the box it said it was made with um, more natural formulas of retinol and whatnot to like plump up your skin. So those are all my favorites. Um, I got my hair cut. It's really layered. Um, really poofy on top. I haven't gotten my hair cut in a really long time. And I'm just getting really, really thick. And I don't know. I want to keep it long, but she had to cut off all the ends. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, if you want me to do any reviews on those, I don't think you, there's anything to really, really review in depth. But if you have any questions, please do feel free to ask, and I will talk to you later. Bye!